Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. And let the breath be comfortable. Breathe in a way that feels really good deep down inside the body. And just keep that up as long as it feels good. After a while, you may want to breathe in a way that's a little bit more gentle. Just keep on top of what the body needs in terms of the breath. And also keep a watch of over your mind. The mind slips off. It has parts of it when it sneak off and think about something else. You just bring it right back. This ability to watch yourself is really important. It comes under the, the teaching of the Buddha calls heedfulness. In other words, realizing that your actions are important, and not just the actions of the body, but your speech, your thoughts, all these things are important. They have a big impact. Each time you intentionally do or say or think something, it's like planting a seed. So the question is, what kind of seeds are you planting? Are you planting good plants or are you planting weeds? Are you planting useful plants or plants that are going to cause a lot of trouble down the way? They rob the soil, their nutrient, like those, some of those eucalyptus trees. They burn easily, they rob the soil, and they're no good at all. And yet people keep planting them. And worse than that. So you have to look at your actions. What kind of seeds are you planting? And you have to keep watch over your mind. It's like there's two of you in there. One making the decisions, and the other evaluating the decisions. And it's the one that's evaluating the decisions. That's the one you've really got to train. Because all too often that one goes off on vacation. And everything gets done on automatic pilot. And we know what happens with automatic pilot. You get the wrong default setting and you get lots of trouble. What may seem like a good setting for right now, it can plow you into the rear end of another car further down the line. So you have to be very careful each time you do and say and think something. This is why we meditate, is to develop this quality of alertness and mindfulness. And this way we develop our heedfulness. Because it's not the case that whatever pops into your mind is always good. Someone said, first thought, best thought. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Sometimes your first thought is just your old natural greed, aversion, and delusion. It happens to be really quick, and so that's what comes up first. So you have to evaluate things, remembering that your choices really are important. The world out there says you're all, the only choices that matter are when you buy things. And as for your other choices in life, they leave that up to you. Don't really care. But you can't believe them. Everything you do and say and think is a choice that's planting a seed. You're choosing which kinds of seeds you want to plant. So plant the good ones. Plant seeds that are food or that give flowers, give fruit. Trees that will give shade. And don't fill up your life with weeds. Your choice is yours every time you make a decision to say or do or think something. So always keep that in mind. And you strengthen this ability to keep it in mind by, by meditating on the breath. This is how you train the mind to be quick in noticing things, be sharp in its evaluation. So you really can be heedful throughout the day and not get worn out by it. Some people complain that you try to be heedful all the time, it's just too much of responsibility. Well, you are being responsible whether you want to or not. You are responsible for your choices. So you might as well make them good choices and train the mind so it has a sense of well-being as you go through the day so that it has, makes these choices with a sense of ease and, and strength. Because when the mind is still like this, it's a lot stronger than this when it's running around. So this is how you provide a foundation for your heedfulness. And your heedfulness provides a foundation for all your other skillful qualities. As the Buddha said, the reason we're good is not because we're naturally good, it's because we see the danger that comes when we're careless. Heedfulness, he says, is the foundation for all our other skillful qualities. So make sure you nurture this as much as you can. <laughs>